Hello everyone, this is Jan from Organics of Funeral. It is late, but I want some ice cream for tomorrow since it is my birthday. And so I ate all the durian ice cream I made a couple days ago, so I want to make some more durian ice cream in my ice cream maker, and I want to show you guys how easy it is. So first of all, this is part of the ice cream maker. I don't need to use ice cubes or salt or anything. This has been in the freezer, so it's frozen and it goes on here. This is just a Cuisinart ice cream maker and it's an older brand. And then this goes like that. And then this goes on top. The ice cream maker is ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, a one can of organic coconut milk. And if you had uh, raw coconuts, you could use that. Um, I'm, this is only my second time making ice cream, so um, and I and I don't have coconut, so I'm I'm trying to just stick with what's familiar right now since my durian is eighteen dollars a durian. Um, and maybe I'll experiment more a little bit later. Uh, so I put in one can of coconut in my blender, and I'm making a mess already. I'm going to put one cup of the durian meat, and I think that there's probably a cup here. Oh, it smells so good. It really does smell good. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla, and I do have vanilla beans that I need to grind up, which, which will be better than... This is an organic, simply organic, but... um. I know I would rather use real vanilla beans. And last time we put in one cup of organic sugar. This time what I'm gonna to try to do differently is I'm gonna to try to use coconut sugar, uh, organic unrefined coconut sugar, and I'm, I cut it back to two thirds of a cup because it was a little bit too sweet. So it is brown. It's gonna change the color of the ice cream and the flavor actually because it has more of a, you know, a smoky mapley flavor but that's okay it'll still be good so I'm just gonna blend it up so it's all blended it's all creamy it looks kind of like coffee and all I'm gonna do is pour in my ice cream maker and pour it in covered pretzels and I know this isn't raw but remember it's my birthday tomorrow and um, so I'm going to add these in the top hard to you know continue to churn it so um oh my dog hold on Duffy so now all I'm gonna do is take the bowl up and scrape it into this Rubbermaid dish and um put it in the freezer right now you can eat it it's already it's I don't you probably can't see here it's all ready to eat it's more like a soft serve ice cream Right now but if you put it in the fridge it gets harder and um, it's awesome so that's um, how easy it is to make ice cream 
If only I knew a year ago. But I'm glad I know now. So straw, I'm gonna make avocado ice cream in the next couple days and strawberry ice cream. And um, maybe to one of those I'll add some chia seeds or you know, something healthier than chocolate covered pretzels, but this is gonna be good. Bye.